We begin with new developments in the case of a teen shot in the head at the Weston Southfield Hotel. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. We're learning one teenager has been arraigned on two counts of carrying a concealed weapon in connection with Sunday's shooting. Police tell us 15 year old Tyler is still in grave condition. Family and friends are praying for a miracle. As 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig explains, investigators are desperately trying to figure out what happened inside that hotel room. Southfield police still piecing together what happened inside the Western Hotel on the seventh floor where 15 year old Tyler was shot in a room full of friends. His parents, I'm telling you, did everything right. Nice kid, nice solid AB student at a Jesuit high school, goes to church, used to drag my nephew to church. Skip Mongo is a longtime friend of 15 year old Tyler's family. Tyler was the teen shot in the head at the Weston Hotel around 840 Sunday morning. Mongo said his nephew was also in the room sleeping and woke up to his ears ringing after the shot was fired that struck Tyler in the head. Police have described his condition as grave. It's to my understanding that there's been a few changes made in a positive direction. So we just want everyone, please, please, Keep him in your prayers. Mongo explained how the teenagers wound up at the hotel. Kids use them as inexpensive resorts. They have access to swimming pools. They have access to adjoining room suites. So instead of going to a club or some type of teenage club or the malls, they hang out at these hotels. And he said there is always supposed to be an adult with the teens. That adult dropped the ball. He dropped the ball big time. He left. He left them unattended. And as you see, when you leave children unattended, these type of things can happen. Southfield police took one teenager into custody who was found with two guns on him inside the hotel. But there are questions as to who actually pulled the trigger. Mongo says there is another teenager out there who needs to come forward. I think his mom came and picked him up and they haven't turned themselves in yet. And I believe it was an accident because that's what happened when guns get in the hands of kids. Leaving Tyler's family and friends devastated and praying for a miracle. And he's a strong young man and he's been fighting hard for his life. Anyone with information on the case is urged to call Southfield Police. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.